a little University of Miami slant here. We caught up with Herb Waters at uh, Southridge Stadium. Unfortunately, Homestead lost to Coral Reef 20 to 17. We'll talk about uh, UM in a second, but uh, I know it's a tough loss for him. But in this game, he made a huge play on that big punt return. I guess that's kind of a sign of what Hurricane fans can expect from you. Um, I mean, going through my mind, I was just ready. Like, we gotta come out. I know we came out a little slim in the first first quarter and the second the second quarter, but I know like coming out from halftime, our team had like the habit of coming out flat after halftime. So I like I want to do something to pick the intensity up so everybody can like get more momentum off that off that punt return. Now you guys, um, you lost the game. It's a tough ball game. Coral Reef comes back. What y'all talk about after the game? Um, we just I told everybody we gotta stop playing the practice, stop playing the practice, and let's get it because. take practice more seriously and work harder? Yes. All right, now, uh, let's get into UM a little bit. You are committed to the University of Miami, correct? Yes. And uh, how excited were you to get that offer and the commit? Um, I was excited because I heard my dreams was coming up. So once I seen the Neater to uh, the fact that not only you're going to your dream school, but you're going with one of your teammates, James Burgess. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think James is like a brother to me. Man, got close and close since we made that commitment. Like, we made it at the same time when we came back from Oregon, so like, it's amazing. All right, I want to get to that Oregon trip. So I know it was you, it was uh, it was James, right? It was Duke, it was Keith, right? Going out to Oregon for the opening, right? So Duke and Keith were committed, five hour trip. And I heard they were, I heard they were doing a lot of talking to try and yeah. convince you to come there. The so what they, what they tell you? What was that? What was that flight? What were they talking to you about? The whole week they was like, man, we can't get no better than this. We all playing together. I mean, it'd be great. I know the way Dion, I mean, um, Duke play. I know the way um, Key play. So I know them two great, incredible players. So just being with them would just make it seem like you can't be stopped. When you play. And, so, and when you came back, right? It's when you came back when you finally made that decision. Yes, the same day I came back. The Sunday. So, so, so Duke and Keith, we could say for Hurricane fans, they could thank Duke and Keith, right? A little yeah. bit for, for your commitment. Yeah. What, the, what, was, what was your summer like? You were at the opening, right? You didn't go to Orlando, did you? For nah, but I was, what, what was it being like out at Nike? I mean, I know being out at that event, all elite athletes, that must have been special. Man, just knowing you're the top 150 in the nation is, is amazing right there. But going out to Oregon, I, I, that's the place I've never been. So I'm just excited seeing all the new things and how they create cliques and gloves and pads and seeing all the new uniform that's coming out. It's a great experience. Now you were also going up against another commit, right? Yeah. You another another guy, Vernon Dave. How well do you guys know each other at all? Yeah, we know. We're very close. We're very close. So is, is it neat? That, is it cool that not only is it is it you and James and Duke and Keith, but there's like a, a growing number of kids yeah. from this area that are going to the U to try and I know Duke talks about getting the U back, and, and you guys want to be a part of that. Yeah, we. Yeah. I mean, Vernon Davis, he's a very a hell of a player. I mean, you can't take nothing from him. He's very good. We were just at, during the game, we were talking about. He, was, he kept telling me after I made the crap back on him, he would like keep your head on the swivel. <laughs> and he would like, man, I, just selling not to me. But I couldn't do nothing because they wouldn't throw me the ball. So I just had to just stay focused and contain my, you know, maintain my game. All right, last thing, you've had, obviously you were excited when Coach Golden made you the offer. You've had some chance to talk with Coach Golden. You know him a little bit. Talk. He's gonna be your coach. What's he like? Oh, he's a very good coach. I love the personality the way he handles the football team. Even in person, personality is a very good. Is very good. Uh, he, I like the way he carries himself. I think he's a very good coach too. All right, so we got, you're used to wearing orange. So we just gotta swap out the blue yeah, for the yeah, green. Yeah, the green. Yeah. Put the green. We'll be good. Yeah, we'll be good. All right, appreciate the time. Uh, thank you.